today's lesson, we're going to take a look at how you can find the x uh, value within some sort of uh, angle relationship diagrams where there's some sort of a basic uh, algebraic expression representing an angle. Instead of just having a, an unknown angle being x, they're going to take that x inside of this uh, simple expression and you need to build an equation and be able to solve for x. And that's not going to get you the angle measurement, that's just going to get you x. And we'll, we'll take a look at that as well. So here's our first example right here. Um, just like uh, before, um, when we were used to looking at uh, two angles within diagram and we'd be like, hey, here's x, what's the relationship between x and angle uh, 59 degrees? I'm hoping that you said, hey, they are complementary. They should add up to be 90 degrees. So here's the 59 degree angle in green and here is this angle in blue right here and we'd say hey 59 plus x equals 90 and how could we solve it? Well you just subtract 59 from the 90 and you would find out very quickly that x equals 31 degrees. So we're not disputing that this angle is 31 degrees. The problem that we're presented with because it tells us to find x is hey we know that this 31 degree angle is represented with 2x plus 9. It's very easy for us to know that it's a 31 degree angle. We want to know what in the world is the value of this x in this algebraic expression. Okay, And we'll just start back over at the beginning. Pretend you don't even know that this equals 31 degrees. You know that this angle and this angle together should equal 90 degrees. So you would say 59 plus 2x plus 9 equals 90 degrees. Why? Because we know together they are 90 degrees. Now, um, another situation that we run into is, Mr. Tate, why didn't you put the, the parentheses around 2x plus 9? Because I see a parentheses here and I see a parentheses there. And I go, well, okay, you can put the parentheses there. And there's a plus sign right in front of that front parentheses, but there's no number. So you'd put in an invisible 1 here, and you would treat that as if it was a positive 1. And guess what? Positive 1 times positive 2 is positive 2x. And positive 1 times positive 9 is positive 9. And we just pull down everything else that we haven't touched. And it's as if the parentheses never existed. So that being said, most of the time you don't have to worry about those parentheses because of that. Okay. Now... First thing we ask ourselves, are there parentheses? No. Can I combine the 59 and the 9? I sure can, and that equals 68. And if you're wondering why you can't just add the 2 to the 68, um, it's pretty simple. The 2 has an x, and the 68 doesn't have an x. And so now we have a two-step equation. We need to get rid of the 68 first. And this would equal... 22. Computer's kind of lagging there. Um, so 90 minus 68 is 22, and then we can just divide both sides by 2. And we'd find out that x equals 11. And if you're going, wait a second, I thought that this whole angle was 31 degrees. You're right. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not 31 degrees. Remember, we want to find the value of x, and x equals 11. So that means that this x right here is 11. 11 times 2 is 22, and 22 plus 9 is 31 degrees. They have the parentheses right here, and they have a degree sign outside of the parentheses. So all of this equals 31. We're just interested on this x value right in there. Um, so that is complementary angles. Let's take a look at a different scenario right here, but it's very, very similar. Um, this is where this angle is not complementary. In fact, this angle is sitting opposite of another angle of two lines that intersect. We know that to be vertical. Okay, And if I had this listed here as an X, if they are vertical angles, we know that this entire angle is 38 degrees as well because X equals 38. They equal each other. So our concern is, is how do we build an equation uh, that lets us be able to solve this x? Because again, we're not interested in knowing that the angle is 38 degrees. We want to know what is this x. Well, if this angle on the left, represented by this, is equal to this angle, is 
just have them equal to each other. It's a lot easier than what we did before. So now we just minus 2 on both sides. Do the math. Divide by 3. And we find out very quickly that x equals 12. And again, that does not mean that this angle is 12 degrees. This whole angle is 38 degrees. So let's go and plug in 12 right here for x. 3 times 12 is 36. And 36 plus 2 is 38 degrees. So the whole angle is indeed 38 degrees, but this x right here, x is 12. And that's what they asked us for. They didn't ask us for the missing angle. They said, please solve for x. Last one, this is where we go back into this. Sometimes people confuse these and they say that they are um, vertical angles. Well, there are two lines intersecting there, at least two line segments there, uh, or a ray and a line. But um, let me ask you this. Are, are they sitting side by side? Yes, they are. And you can see that they're sitting underneath this straight line, which means that together they are 180 degrees. That's right. This is a supplementary relationship. So what we're going to do is that we are going to say, hey, if you add the green angle to the blue angle, it equals 180 degrees. So what's the green angle? It's 93 degrees. And we're going to add it to the blue angle. What's the blue angle? 18 plus 3x equals, these two equal together, 180 degrees. Again, why don't we write the parentheses down? Well, we're adding the two angles together. So if I put parentheses around there, it'd be like having a positive 1 on that side of parentheses. Why cause yourself extra work? If it was a minus sign, totally different ball game. You'd have to put the parentheses down. Now, let's go and solve. Um, can I add 93 to the 18? I sure can. And that equals 111 degrees. I can't add the 111 to the 3x because, you know, the 3 has an x on it. And now we can subtract 111 from both sides. 3x is going to be equal to 69. Now we can divide. And x is going to be, I believe, 23. So that does not mean that this is a 23 degree angle. No, no, no. Um, what that means is, is that this whole angle is actually going to be 87 degrees. Why? Because 93 and 87 equals 180. What this means is, is that this small little x is 23. And so 23 times 3 is 69. And 69 plus 18, I'll write 69 there, 69 plus 18 is 87. So hopefully uh, you've got the basic idea of using what you know before. You should have been pretty good with vertical, supplementary, and uh, complementary angles. And uh, your quiz course showed it. I believe you averaged like 94%. So um, now if we can just take it to the next step and build these equations and solve for x, you'll be in great shape.